I did not throw these ducks. They are just walking. Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with Oddball Cards. It is September 12. Hope everyone is having a good start to their weekend. We have quite a bit to do. So David Pert is on sabbatical. I do believe he has stolen the time machine and is probably back looking for the origins of that space alien, Fernando Tatis Jr. So since we have quite a bit to get through, we will jump right in. My good friend and friend of the channel, Charlie C, sent me th some things to cheer me up and it worked. It is hard not to at least chuckle. I don't expect a guffaw from you. Here's Catello Marte with the mascot. That's pretty cool. Zorbling. All right, I won't lie. I don't know what that is. What is a Zorbling? Oh, they're all in a pack. All right, let's see what Charlie has sent. What sort of shenanigans and hijinks we're up to here? A Zorbling. Let's see. Okay. Hamster ball. All right. Wow. Charlie sees on it. So that's a person. Look like a plate. So that's a person in a hamster ball. Definitely, uh, when all this stuff clears up, Charlie, we'll have to go find a place and do that and broadcast live. All right. Fernando. Love Fernando. Goodness. Nice stuff, Charlie. He knows that I PC Jason Hayward, his next <laughs> mini, along with a gold. Uh, can't cover up Kate or Shatner or Creepy Guy or my one of one. Shout out to Todd Lou and the boys. So we sorry, Sparky, but you've been covered up by a gold karate kicking guy. Oh man, really awesome. Nice. I've never seen this card before. Cabbage Patch, <laughs> Charlie, you're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Very nice. All right. I am a total ignoramus when it comes to anything back beyond maybe 17. So he has sent me some nice packs. They are hot, 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 hot. Frank the Tank, don't go walking around barefoot on these because you will burn your feet. All right. These are wax packs. These are 1990 traded. I know traded is usually a bit more rare. I'm just happy for the gift. Kirk Gibson. Oh, our gold is a Ramon Martinez. That that merits uh, some respect. He had a respectable career. Fernando, you get a spot. Oh my gosh, look at all these Fernandos. Oh, <laughs> I am a dumb dumb. I just I was like, what are all all these? They are special Charlie C hot packs. Whoa, mind blown. Oddballs a dumb dumb. Speaking of oddballs a dumb dumb, I found another error in the other uh, episode. I I always put my microphone in, test it to make sure there's no, uh, and listen to the playback to make sure there's no shrills or crackling. I hate that. And then I forgot to plug it back in. So the whole one before was just the stupid phone. You could hear the crinkles. Charlie sees the man. Look at this. All right. Looks like Joe Piscopo. Ah, Jim Kelly. Dang, I was hoping it was on the back. Mike Sosha. Oh, my God. He's a baby. I don't know that guy, but he knows I love the Dodgers. Eddie Murray. Love Eddie. Hall of Famer. I love how stoic he was. What's up, Cody? Tony... Dow. All right, quick look at who that is because we got a lot to do here. He's an actor. What's up, Tony? There's a Hunter Strickland. Charlie, I'm sure you'll have to tell me the story behind that one. Thanks for thinking of us. Uh, the last one here does appear to be a 2007 special set. It says Flashback Friday. That's probably what David Pert's doing. He probably found some mushrooms and he took the time machine and he's back in the 60s at least he's somewhere where he will blend in ryan howard man i love that guy he got old very quickly these are great cards all right thank you cc all right today 
we are going to open in honor of getting through, what are we at? About 40, 45 games. I'm, I have a blaster here of Series 2. Mostly bought it because <laughs> I'm such a dork. I really like the, uh, the medallion player cards. And, uh, you know, I just have a hard time finding retail like everyone else. I'm not going to cry about it today, although I could cry incessantly about it. But now I'm really anxious to open it up because there are quite a few Ricky, Rickies, a lot of Rickies too, but a lot of rookies that we weren't really expecting to do much that are playing roles on playoff teams. On this channel, we eat the dessert first. Who do we... Oh, wow. I'm really happy. I've got the bow and a Fernando Tatis Jr. The bow went right to the fly to Canada pile. Mr. Space Alien, in honor of you, we will rip 2020 Series 2. When we opened it three weeks ago, four weeks ago, we were just looking for Robert and at the time Shogo, which I bet everyone except for Reds fans has lost interest in. Got a Jan Gomes, Reddick, Maldonado. If you're wondering why it's so calm and serene, I have warped a couple times we're in a different dimension than Dwight now because uh, frankly we just got tired of him he's not good at chasing me he's not really good at much except for collecting cards this is pretty cool um, I know it's an insert but it's different I haven't seen a ton of it all right and that one is the pretty standard Tatis insert along with Tyler Glasnow he brings out a bad 70s German accent out of me. Kim and Lopez. All right. What have we here? Haven't come across any strange rookies. Man, I'm, I read the... I'm, I'm a big dork, if you haven't figured that out. I get up at about 5.30 and read every box score. I try to ignore it in the evening. It's kind of a treat with my coffee. And I all these names of rookies contributing. Joey Bart, uh, which I was hoping, I didn't know he was going to be called up this year, obviously with Buster out. But even for a while they didn't have him up, but that might have been a service time thing. Cool. we got a chrome of a Rocky. I know my former nemesis, Tony D, shout out, is a Rockies fan. So that I've got a care package going for him. Sorry, the autofocus turned itself back on. So that's a Rivera. That's a cool looking card. All right. When you're a uh, first bout Hall of Famer, you go right into the odd gallery out of respect, not out of oddness. I feel like I missed a rookie symbol here or there. Oh, yeah, I did. Randy Dobnak, not one of the ones I was thinking had done well. Contreras. All right. Well, we'll go back. Got several packs to open here. It is a blaster. I am happy. I don't remember where I got this one from. I don't think I caught it in the wild. I think I had to order it. Oh, here's a name Mendic. All right. Taking a look for the rookies. I love Karen, Kevin Kiermeyer, but I am a uh, Moneyball nerd. Stubbs is a rookie, but not one we're thinking of. Hey, there's the Shogo. I still really like him. He has very little power, much like Mauricio Dubon. But, TJ Zook. Zook? All right. Zuich? Nah, that doesn't sound right. All right, now you guys get the fun of correcting me. Oddball can't say stuff. All right. Let's see what we got here. What have we here? Shout out to Paul C. Tony D. All right. I am a Dodgers fan, and I know the name because it's garlic, but that's not one of the rookies we were looking at. I really am optimistic with a lot of these young guys contributing that update might not be as piss poor as I had ranted about before. Uh, it might be. And don't sue me. I didn't make the rules. But I do like to prognosticate. All right. There's a nice Nolan Ryan. That will be a gift to some of my collecting buddies. All right, Kian Wong. All right, maybe Series 2 is uh, 
thin on the rookies. I thought that maybe after this month and with all the young guys contributing, I don't have a list, but even I follow uh, Isan Diaz, pretty much the entire Rays team, just kind of seeing what they do. But from game to game, they just pass the baton on who does well. So they're not super collectible. Uh, hey, there's a Jake Fraley. I know uh, Ripping for Ripkins, my good buddy, is... That's his PC, so I'll have to see if I have any to send along to him. Um, I guess he's from Delaware, and that was a big draw. All right, this is a different color of Jack Flaherty. Is this an insert? No, it is numbered out of 50. Cool. Not a terrible name. Nice 35th anniversary. And the obligatory Tati Space Alien. There's my namesake, Shane Bieber. That Cleveland pitching is for real. And Fran Mill Reyes has become Franimal. Just feel bad for him. I wondered if he liked that name. And then I kind of didn't care because he's killing it. All right. Shout out to all you Cleveland fans. Lewis S., I'm outing you as a Cleveland fan. You hit it for so long. Dakota Hudson, Future Stars. I do like the Cup cards and uh, Future Stars cards. One of my favorite players of all time. Not saying he's the best. Just love to see that little guy and the different bat angles. feel like he could hit from any angle. Okay. Well, I guess I won't rush out to buy a bunch of Series 2 because the rookies we are finding. Hey, what's up, Jorge Soler? If you're anything like me, I still can't believe he led the American League in home runs last year. Sorry about the autofocus. I don't know how it turned itself back on. And this man was benefiting from playing with Tatis and Will Meyer. Uh, I should go Machado, Tatis, Machado. And Will Myers is actually probably after Hosmer. Hosmer is benefiting. All those guys just seem to be feeding off each other, but Hosmer is dinged up now they're looking like geniuses for trading for mitch moreland go padres shout out to intercontinental cards my sister channel that is much superior so if you find yourself falling asleep on my channel turn it uh, turn it over to intercontinental cards he'll knock your socks off good guy good channel good editing good 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 mr good all right, Turkey Red is a rookie that we see everywhere. Tice, not even really going to stop for you, man. Uh, you signed everything, you're in everything, and I'm not even sure you're playing. So, just so you get a little dessert, you can turn the video off here if you're one of them serious type collectors. I'm going to throw in a bonus pack of 2018 Ginter. I love the old guys in this. Bo Jackson, Santana. There's a rookie card. Not a terrible one, not a great one. One of my favorite players of all time, Jeff Bagwell. I've only but recently been reading about the acne on his back that every, everyone thinks was uh, PEDs related. And our last card of the night, very fitting, classy guy. And uh, man, I didn't even know they had cards on war in 2018. Wade Boggs. Well, everyone, I hope you are well. Stay strange. As always, oddball out.